Hello everybody, my name is Star Raptor, and welcome to This Week in Star Wars Canon, where every week I do my best to break down everything new in the Star Wars universe, that is the comics, the novels, the TV series, there's so much stuff that comes out on a weekly basis that I try to help you guys by breaking it all down. This week we have just one new comic, and that is Poe Dameron, issue number 28. So this is part three of the Awakening arc, and if you're not familiar with this arc, we are in the present day, past the events of The Last Jedi, we have Poe, Rey, and Finn. They are on the Millennium Falcon, they have just escaped the Battle of Krayt, and they have some spare time, so Poe is telling them some more stories about where he was during The Force Awakens, so we are at the point uh, during the Starkiller base battle, so we have that whole retelling of the events of Starkiller base, and it goes even into the points of what happened in between The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens when they were at the car base. They didn't have a lot of time before the Star Wars started rolling into space and then they had to get ready to evacuate. So we get into all of that. So let's get into the positives of this issue. First off, it was revealed sort of in the middle of the issue, the two characters that were talking in the speech bubbles during the events of The Force Awakens and their retelling, and that happened to be R2-D2 and BB-8. And I was so confused, I'll admit, when I was reading this story for the first time, I was like, who is talking? Because they're showing the events of The Force Awakens and they have this blue speech bubbles and the orange speech bubbles, and, and you can't really tell who it is, and they're talking about being during in this event during the original trilogy and all these kind of references, and I'm, I couldn't figure it out. Then you turn to the page, and it was just this awesome reveal that it was really BB-8 and R2 talking. I thought that was excellent because we've never really heard R2 talk or at least have any kind of dialogue. He's always just beeping and booping. And he's he's a character, that's for sure, and BB-8 as well. Uh, so they actually hear these droids speaking and it was really C-3P that called him out on. He's like, why can't you guys just talk on a closed circuit or something like that? So I thought that was great because at one moment, in particular, it's with R2 and he's talking about... Uh, that they have to remain hopeful. They can't be in despair and they have to look up to Princess Leia and she is like the beacon of all that there is, is hope. So I thought that was just a really touching moment for R2 to just kind of, you know, give it away like that. So that was really cool. I also thought it was awesome that during the um, events that they were retelling, Rey is actually in the Falcon and she is looking through those ancient Jedi texts and she's actually having C-3PO help translate for her and she's interested in this one line that's like, the light is a Jedi and the dark is a Jedi and all and all this kind of or the force or whatever but it was like yes she wants to be a Jedi so that's kind of interesting we also do get confirmation that Rose is still alive if you weren't sure she is sleeping Finn is kind of upset because he doesn't know if she's gonna be okay so there's a moment with Finn and Poe and Poe is just ever that optimistic character that's always gonna be like it will be okay do not worry about it I have a good feeling about this I also did like as I mentioned the events between uh, the Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. Great little connective tissue there. So we really do have like the whole story now. We have before The uh, Force Awakens with the Poe Dameron series. We have Doreen. We have After. Then we have the After The Last Jedi. And what is very interesting is this issue leaves off on this cliffhanger, right? So we never seen uh, Snap Wexley or just Pava or Kari or the other character that I can't think of her name, the blue alien. We hadn't seen them in The Last Jedi. So it's like, I was thinking during that movie, like, where are these guys? Where are the mentions of them? Well, apparently, as soon as Poe went out to try to distract the First Order, uh, Star Destroyer during The Last Jedi, uh, Leia had sent them to go on this mission that's very crucial for them to get allies. So they are out there, and at the end of this issue, Aboard the uh, Millennium Falcon, C-3PO gets this recording signal of a transmitter from Black Squadron, and apparently it's not a good one. They are in danger. So we're going to finally figure out what that is, and I'm just so pumped because it's such a great uh, way to end this issue because I'm sitting there thinking, like, what are they going to encounter? What are they fighting out there? Are they fighting the First Order? Is it another threat? Who are they trying to contact? We aren't sure who, what allies are trying to contact. I hope it's, I really hope it's Lando Carries and that'd be awesome. But yeah, just a great way to end this issue. And of course, as always, Angel Anzueta as the RS absolutely kills it. His splash pages are insane. The double splash pages of uh, the Starkiller base and the events of The Force Awakened. His character, uh, 
characterizations of the characters are they're just spot on with the likenesses of the characters they really are from poe dameron to leia just one of the best artists i've seen for all the star wars comics period and unfortunately i have a bit of bad news if you're a fan of the poe dameron comics i sure am they are coming to a close September we'll see its last issue, issue number 31. It is confirmed. It is not not really canceled. It is coming to an end. Charles Soule, the writer, said, look, this is the story we had to tell, and it's fitting. I had a feeling that they were going to end this only because they're going to want to tell the story, the big story in between The Last Jedi and Episode Nine with the movie first. That's how they always do it. Then they'll go back and they'll fill in all the empty spaces um, in between. So it is kind of sad to see the Poe Dameron series go. Uh, it's it's got a great run it really has and there's been ups and downs but overall I've really enjoyed it and we still have three issues left and they are arguably the most interesting issues as I was just talking about the adventures of Black Squadron so where are the fates of the characters gonna be is Snap gonna be alive is Jess gonna be alive it's a great way it's it's a great great way to build up tension because we haven't seen any of these characters past Force Wiggins so literally they can all die they could all survive. We have no idea. I'm just super, super excited. So that's all I have to talk about this week, guys. It was a very uh, slim week, but that's okay, because next week we're going to have two more comics to talk about. We're going to have Lando, Double or Nothing, number two, and we're going to have Dr. Aphra, issue number 21. And yeah, that'll be great. So I want to hear what your thoughts are on the Poe Dameron series, and this issue in particular, as well as what do you think about the series ending in September? Have you enjoyed it? Let's talk about it in that comment section below. My name is Star Raptor, and please make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It'll really help me out in the long run, and it helps you guys out with staying up to speed on all my videos. I release these on a weekly basis, so you can always look forward to these. Again, my name is Star Raptor, and may the Force be with you always. Thanks for checking out the video. Please hit that thumbs up symbol. It helps me know that I'm making content that you guys enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, I also include two videos down below you guys should check out. And please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.